Welcome to video number two of Signal Chain or Suffer. My name is Grant from Goodwood Audio and we are doing a four part series on Signal Chain and why you should care about it. So today we are going to cover the dry section of your pedal board. When I say dry section, I am referring to typically the pedals that come first in your signal chain. So guitar into a fuzz would be a dry pedal, overdrives, compression, boost, uh, those types of effects. So the dry section of your pedal board uh, really does matter in terms of the order you run those effects. But first you might be wondering, why don't we run delay and reverb and then go into our overdrives? It's a great question and one that is probably best shown by an example. So let's start with delay running into an overdrive because I can really demonstrate why people typically don't go for this sound. So that is just one example of why you might want to run dry before your wet effects. It does make quite a difference. However, if you like the sound of delay running into an overdrive, by all means, run it that way. If you think of chain of events like we've been talking about, this is the same with running a chorus or maybe a flanger. Uh, if you run those effects before your overdrives and before your distortion, they will not have the same effect on your overall signal as if you run them after. And if you think of chain of events, this is because you are putting chorus or a bit of that modulation before a heavy overdrive. That overdrive is really going to take precedence over that chorus pedal. So running it after just means you will get more of that chorus effect. Let's get into some more sound examples within the dry section. So a very common question is should I run my boost before my high gain overdrive or should I run my low gain before my high gain? High gain into low. All of this is very common and they are great questions to ask. Best demonstrated with an example. So let's run a low gain into a high gain and then flip the order. Here we go. So again, low gain into high, high gain into low, there is no right or wrong answer here. This is really up to you, the player, and what sound your ear says you like best. Just always be thinking about chain of events. Another example, where should I put my volume pedal if you're using one? You could put it right at the beginning of your chain. You could put it right before your wet effects, before your signal might split into stereo. Again, there's neither right or wrong, but let's show you a sound example so you can make up your own mind. So as you hear, there is a drastic difference if you run volume before your overdrives or before your gain and after your gain pedals. Again, it's totally up to you what you like better. One thing to keep in mind though, if you do run your volume pedal first, you are limiting your options because you will almost always have a volume pot on your guitar as well, which will similarly clean up those overdrives when you pull it back. So if you wanna keep your options open, Pull back the volume on your guitar when you want to clean up your gains. Pull it back on your volume after your gains when you want to reduce the overall level or do some swells with gains still happening in the bottom of that sweep. 
So that is your dry section and changing up the order. There are a ton of different examples that we could give, but I thought I'd just give you guys a couple so you can start thinking about your pedal board and how this affects you. So whether you like to run low gain into high or high into low, volume first or volume last, there is no right or wrong with your signal chain. Just keep in mind the chain of events and how it will affect your sound. The best thing you can do is set up your pedals, give it a try, and see what you like. So try this out this week before our third video in our series, Signal Chain or Suffer, where we're gonna talk about your wet effects and their signal chain. We'll see you next week.